James Erskine and Marta Reskel are two experts who work for the Miccosukee's Water Resources Department. Let's get some insight on the Miccosukee's yearly water quality study. parts about the Everglades that most people don't know is that it's an actual moving river of grass. It's water moving through Florida that traditionally would have existed all the way from the East Coast buffer where we now have condominiums and buildings and communities straight through the west side of Florida all the way over to Naples and it would have been connected from Lake Okeechobee in the north and north of Lake Okeechobee all the way down to the Florida Keys. I think it's very important for people to realize the Everglades that they see today is not the Everglades of history and that it's been reduced in size, but what's left is a treasure, a national treasure that does need to be preserved. I mean, we, we, we don't really do much. The temperature, we got the temperature, we got the conductivity, the conductivity, we got a lot of, you get influence from rain groundwater. So conductivity varies at largely rainfall driven, which will be more down around 200 in that rain. Rainfall is a lower Water level? We just still need to work on the access to the I think 19. 19? We need to work on the access to the time. Oh yeah. I don't think anybody's going in this island because of the low water levels. Mm -hmm. uh, as of today, um, Everglades study um, has become a scientific monitoring uh, program. Um, twice a year, the tribal community, tribal members, tribal administration, employees, all gather together. Uh, to perform this uh, monitoring program. Um, we meet twice a year, like I said. Um, it's a spring and fall uh, study. Um, during study week, we identify, collect, measure and document the uh, ecosystem parameters, uh, included water quality, uh, mag depth, water depth, and vegetation type. And it's been almost 30 years um, that the tribe is performing this monitoring program. Every year, uh, the environmental departments, included water resource, um, add more science to this program. And as of today, I would say it's a comprehensive uh, program with big, uh, large database. The 
objectives of the Everglades study are multifaceted, but two components that are extremely important is its community outreach portions, which involves the community members entering the Everglades and being on their land, combined with that science and that involvement of the community in the science. That shows everybody just how important the science is to the Everglades. The tribe invites a number of special guests on the Everglades study. There were representatives on this past study from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. There were representatives from the South Florida Water Management District on the last study. And it's just an excellent opportunity for these members of these other agencies to get out onto the tribal lands, see parts of the Everglades that they don't regularly get to see, and really get to interact and hear from the tribal members. Hear firsthand what the tribal concerns are on the reservation, as opposed to the greater Everglades, and see firsthand how water management actions and pollution control activities can affect the tribal Everglades. Being over there, it's, it's a tough lesson for all of us because we all live in a city, we, we're not used to, to that rough uh, environment, but also it brings us some reflection about the, the tradition, about the past and, and in the future where we're all going. Every year we're seeing some differences and this year there was comment on a, one of the sites that we're seeing more cut tile than last year, uh, which means the water quality uh, probably it's been changed in that particular site. So we having consultants on a study and they they with us every day during a study week and they they lived in the Everglades. The Everglades has uh, its home for them and they see those differences very they notice them very fast. Kristen, you get some numbers for me? 26, 41, temperature. Conductivity, 407. Zero dissolved oxygen in the water, 0 0.63. That is in oxic conditions, that is no, zero survival for a crayfish, shrimp, fish, fin fish in this water right here. Zero survival. At zero, 0 0.63, you have no survival. There, everything will have evacuated the zone. That includes sedimentary animals, 